Hello, the topic of our discussion in this video tutorial is the Intermediate Value Theorem. I will start this video tutorial from the definition of a disconnected set and connected set. We say, we say A which is a subset of a, a real line is connected, is disconnected is disconnected um, if there exist if we can find a set E and a set F and they are both subset of uh, uh, reals and such that such that I can write my uh, set A as a union of E union F and E closer do not intersect F and E also do not intersect the closer of F. Example, so I can consider my set uh, which is a deleted zero set of all reals but I delete the zero from that set. Uh, this is a disconnected set. It's a uh, disconnected and I can find even E so I can choose my E as minus infinity to 0 and I can choose my F uh, 0 to positive infinity and you can check that E closer do not intersect F and also E close E does not intersect the F closer now we will define what is a connected set actually connected set is the negation of disconnected set so we say we say a subset of real is is connected is connected if a is not disconnected not disconnected set and the example example of disconnected connected set is uh, interval most of the interval they are connected because you cannot write it them as a union of two disjoint set next we will prove this important result on the connected set so the statement of uh, this theorem is that if f is a continuous function and e is a connected set then the image of f over the set e will also be connected set so let's prove this theorem so first i will write down what is given so the given is given uh, e is is connected that is given connected and uh, also it is given f is a function from a to r and this function is a continuous function and what we want to show want to show in this case we want to show f of e uh, is connected set we will prove this result by using the method of contradiction so for the method of contradiction if possible if possible assume assume f of e is not connected or in other words assume f of e is a disconnected set is a disconnected if f of e is a disconnected set then i will use the definition of uh, what does it mean by f of e is a disconnected so this means i can write f of e as a union of two set i will choose a and b uh, so that a closer do not intersect b and a also do not intersect b closer this is the definition of a disconnected set now i also define in two new set so define i'm going to define c i'm going to take all those values from the set e which are mapped to A and I'm going to define a set D I'm gonna map all the values of uh, E 
to B. I'm going to collect all the value from the set E which are mapped to B. Now by the definition of C and D and F is a function. Uh, so this will conclude that C will not intersect D. That will be a one conclusion. And another will be uh, E will be a union of C union D. This is from the definition of the set C and D and also the definition of the function f because function f is mapping from A to R. Now I will claim C closer intersect D is also empty and C intersect D closer is also empty. So this is my claim. I will only prove one of it, uh, the proof of the other one will be similar. So I will prove that the intersection of C closer uh, uh, intersection with D is uh, non-empty. I will use again the method of contradiction. If possible, C intersect D uh, has a common point or is a non-empty. Uh, this, this implies there exists X0 which is a belongs to C closer and x0 is also belongs to d. Now what does it mean by x0 belongs to c closer? It means x0 is a limit point of c. And now I will use the sequential characterization of the limit point. So this implies there exists a sequence xn which belongs to c and that sequence xn will converge to x of 0. So this is the sequential characterization of a limit point. Now since the xn sequence is converges to x of 0 and the function f of x is a continuous, so by using the sequential characterization of continuity, therefore f of uh, x of n will converges to f of x0. And also since xn belongs to c and by the definition of c f of x1 must belongs to a this is by the definition of c because if some element belongs to e uh, and this element is also in c uh, then it is image must be in a so therefore f of xn belongs to a so now since this sequence is belongs to A and this sequence is converges to f x of 0. So this implies f of x 0 will be a limit point of the set A or in other word f of x 0 will belong to the closure of A. Also notice, notice x 0 also belongs to D. So we have given x 0 belongs to D. And if you use the definition of D, it means F of X0 belongs to B. This is the definition of D uh, because if some element X which is also in D, it is image must be in B. So this implies X, uh, F X0 belongs to A closer and the same element is also belongs to B. It means A closer intersection B must be non-empty because they have one element which is common. But this is a contradiction to the fact that we already assume A closer intersection B is empty but here we prove that uh, this intersection is non-empty. Therefore which is a contradiction which is a contradiction. So if this is a contradiction, it means f of E is not disconnected or in other word f of E is connected. So this complete the proof of our theorem. Next we will prove the uh, main result of our video tutorial which is uh, intermediate value theorem. So let's read the statement of this theorem. The statement of this theorem says that if f is a function. Uh, which is a defined from a close interval a b to the set of reals and it satisfy uh, either this condition or that condition so one of them uh, then there will exist a element uh, uh, c which will belong to the open interval a b so that uh, uh, 
uh, when we evaluate the function at this it will be is equal to uh, the real number L proof let me first write down what is given and what we want to show so the given is given uh, f is a function which is uh, from the closed interval a b to r this function is continuous this is a given and the l is given but l satisfies one of them so i'm gonna loss without of generality i'm gonna assume that l satisfy uh, this condition or in other word this is also implies l belongs to uh, this open interval f of a f of b now i will also write down uh, what we want to show in this case actually we want to find a number c so we want to find c which is belong to the interval a b uh, so that so that f of c is equal to l so we need to locate that c which belong to the interval a b so let's start the proof now first i'm going to start from what is given so i have the interval close interval a b so this interval is definitely connected and this interval is compact because this is a close and bounded so it is a compact using the previous theorem and one of the theorem from our previous video uh, this will implies f of a b because f is a continuous function this function this means the range of this function is connected and compact we also prove the compactness in our previous video so a set is connected and a set is compact it means it must be an interval therefore a b is is equal to interval or i can say some c and d and since f of a is less than strictly less than f of b so this implies this interval f of a f of b definitely this interval is uh, contained in this interval c d by the definition of the range of the set uh, and also since l is belong to this interval f of a f of b and f of uh, this interval is contained in uh, the interval cd but cd interval is uh, uh, exactly is equal to f a b so this implies l belongs to the range of a b f over a b and what this implies now I will use the definition of the function if L is belong to the range of the function it implies there exists element C belong which will belong to the domain of the function uh, so that f of C is equal to L. Now we need to show that C cannot be is equal to A and B or in other words C cannot lies on the boundary of this interval. So as you can see, if C is equal to uh, A, this implies F of A is equal to F of C and F of C is equal to L. So this implies F of C is equal to L, which will be a contradiction. So as you can see, this is a contradiction to the assumption which we made F of A is a strictly less than L or strictly less than L. So therefore, this is not possible and this implies C cannot be is equal to A. Similarly, I can show that C cannot be is equal to B because if C is equal to B, similarly F of B is equal to F of C, this is equal to L and that will implies F of B is equal to L. Sorry, here is F of A is equal to L. 
but this will give you the contradiction to the fact here that we assume f of uh, b is a strictly greater than l so this is a contradiction so c cannot be equal to b so now putting all these together it means c will only belong to the open interval a b c cannot occur on the boundary uh, so that f of c is equal to the number l and this complete the proof of our intermediate value theorem next i have one quiz problem for you to practice please pause the video for one and two minute and work on this problem this is also the end of this video thank you very much for watching i will see you in the next video bye for now